Today I'll be showing you negative stamping. Negative stamping is different from a standard stamping as I've done on this nail um, whereby the colour from the underneath shows through as the design. So you need to think about your design in detail before you start. This is a negative stamping plate and this is the design I'm going to use today. The design of these flowers will show through from the underneath, from the yellow that I've painted underneath. And I'm going to use a dark green on this plate, so the dark green will be the base, will look like the base, and the design will come out as the yellow. So as I said, you need to think about how it's going to look afterwards, it's almost like you have to turn it around in your mind to the opposite way. Now it's best to use a dark colour over a light colour. Um, you can use a light colour over a dark colour, but it doesn't show up as well. As you can see here, this is one I've done on a stick to show you, um, with a white over a pink, and it just looks a little bit wishy-washy. It doesn't, it doesn't pop like um, a dark over a light. So you need to apply a decent amount of nail polish and I would always use a stamping polish because it's much thicker um, and you need to make sure that you don't over scrape it because you need to leave where these lighter grey areas are here. That's where the polish is going to go so you want to make sure you don't scrape it off there. There, so you can see the design. It's very pretty, but you really need to have a darker colour to do it with. I think it really makes it pop then. So I'm going to leave this to dry for five minutes or so, and then I shall apply a smudge-free top coat, a uh, stamping top, top coat, and then I will apply the matte top coat to go with the other matte nails that I've painted. I should put information on the polishes that I've used in the description and the stamping plates, for both of the stamping plates. And particularly with a matte top coat, I think it really makes it pop and you can really see the effect. So give it a go, it's not that difficult to do really, um, it just takes a little bit of planning so that you can see what colours um, are going to work well together. So I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.